Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! I could do that for longer. Giant floating head here. Uh, I'm here with Maddie, who is a very talented painter artist. And uh, so before we look at these dioramas she's been working on, uh, let's talk to her for a little bit. So talk to me about painting in general and painting miniatures specifically. Okay, so we're just starting off painting. I started off while I was fairly young, like four years old is when I first got my hands on some fantastic Crayola markers. And it just accelerated from there. Um, picked up art more heavily in her high school and thought that, you know, I could actually do this. I could become more prolific. And it's something that I thoroughly enjoy. I only really started painting miniatures though as of like, two months ago. So, but it's something that I've really come to love. It's a different medium. While I'm still using the skills that I learned earlier on, it's just on a different platform. And I feel like you're able to reach a lot more people too when you're diving into these depth worlds of lore and there's something to be learned from them too. And they're incredibly intricate and there's a story behind each and every one of them that I think is fantastic. All right, awesome. Yeah. How about personal hobbies? Personal hobbies? I am rather fond of death metal, of all things. Death metal and cats, which is an odd combination. Hold on, I, can I show off your leggings? Can I show of your leggings? You yeah. Those are adorable. All right, awesome. And they're like medically accurate too. Really? Okay, yeah. wow. That's awesome. Yeah, they're like an x-ray that they found and just printed it on. And I don't know whose it is, but I want to find them yeah, and right. tell them that they're awesome. Thanks. Thanks for the legging pictures. Appreciate you. It. <laughs> I get it all the time. They're like, yeah. they're, they're signing your arm or whatever. Yeah. Okay, well, let's talk about these two projects you've been working on. Now, <clears throat> this first one, this is just to, before Maddie launches into some specifics she may want to talk about. Uh, this was like really elaborated specifically by the client almost every single element. So, uh, and this is the second time we built this. The first time it didn't turn out so great. Um, but uh, this time I think it, think it looks really good. So g go ahead, talk about what you've done with it and the different elements on here. All right, so what this dude wanted is that he wanted a mild temple as depicted in Jet Li's The One that ominous moonlit scene except with tyranids running up against what I would imagine to be a worthy adversary right. of Nurgle descent. He's a Nurgle demon prince along with his biker sorcerer of similar affiliation. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, great. So this guy has the flaming brand of Scalithrax. They're in set here. So yeah, real nurgly. This is a cloak from the uh, Mortark kit from the Age of Sigmar line. And that, that ended up working out really well for him, I think. Mm -hmm. And the specs was that he was burning up some Necrons, so insert story here why the Necrons are involved in this. We're still trying to get the this uh, mace thing kind of like angled right. Okay, so go ahead. What other elements have you put in here? Well, so what I was trying to, with this cape, what I really liked about it is I wanted it to be similar of like rotting flesh. And I was thinking about slaughterhouses for whatever reason, and I researched <laughs> it up a little bit more. It's just like hold on, hold on, hold on. Like I, want say, I want you to say that sentence. Uh, oh, one more time from the top. I was thinking about... <laughs> I was thinking about slaughterhouses. And for some reason. For some reason. And just painting <laughs> walls of flesh. Putrefying flesh. That's not necessarily putrefying though, as there's right. no green in that. Which would right. not inhibit any sort of infection or necrosis. Wow. Awesome. Okay, so moving on, um, let's talk about this piece. Go ahead. All right, so appointed here is Sir Warzog. He's actually a shaman, 
shaman. shaman. Yeah, he's a shaman. He's a nomadic shaman. And he travels far and wide in the realm of Warhammer where he tries to convert <laughs> other green skins. Wait, so you looked colleague. all this up? You studied up Maybe. on Warzog? That's fantastic. That's great. And most of green skins, i.e. orcs, think that he's a raving lunatic. But he uses his powers to summon these squigs, and his, it's his form of transportation. But All right, awesome. So yeah. this piece, if I can just jump in. Of course. Um, is uh, magnetized for transport. So all of these little um, tower things come off. And um, Maddie added these crystals, which I was not expecting, but I think they add sort of this otherworldly feel to it, and I, I think it's really a nice touch. And um, so, and by the way, this tile here, even though you can't really see any of the detail, it's from Secret Weapon Miniatures. They have a, a range of tiles, and they sent me some as samples, and I was supposed to plug them, but I never really did much with it. But I'm still, still working around to it, guys. So anyway, so these are being like toppled by sorceress power. And, and this whole thing comes apart. Wurzog, the squigs, the three pillars, the base, and then the larger base all separate out into two, four, six, seven different parts. Uh, anything else about this particular piece? Well, I like how you got the grass on the squigs. Mm -hmm. And they have kind of classic Warhammer like coloration to them, very bright. Well, I thought that the bright, vibrant, contrasting colors would be a nice breakup from the green, especially with the purple. Yeah, green and purple. Yes. It's, uh, there, there's really a lot going on there. And I think it, I think it comes to... <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, great. Well, um, thanks a lot, Maddie. You're really uh, completely pleasant to, to talk with. And... Um, Thanks for, thanks for being on board. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Warhammer was really cool. Uh -huh. I wasn't expecting it to be everything that it is and everything that it will be. Okay, thanks a lot. And uh, thank you, Blue Table fans, for tuning in. I hope you got your inspiration for the day.